What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and claim three free months of the Xbox Game Pass that you can use either on your Xbox or on Windows and play a bunch of games, including the new Flight Simulator from Microsoft. So to begin, of course, we'll be starting in the Discord client. If we head across to the user settings in the bottom left and then across to subscriptions, we'll see this page over here. It'll show you some info, but of course, I'll have to blur out most of it. Scrolling down to the bottom of this page, we see three months of Xbox Game Pass for PC. We've got a little something for you. Nitro subscribers now get three months of Xbox Game Pass for PC, available now until November 17th, 2020. You'll need to be on the $9.99 a month package, not Nitro Classic. It's the full-blown Nitro. I upgraded just a couple of days ago, and in fact, this came as a surprise to me. So that's pretty cool. If you get here for the first time, you should see a claim button, and when you click claim, you'll get a key on your screen that you can go ahead and activate in the Microsoft Store, and you'll also get an email copy that you can go ahead and refer to later. I, of course, closed that notification last night without screenshotting it, so I'll have to go ahead and get that key from my email. Xbox Game Pass for PC for three months. Link down below is this page over here as well. If you have the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you can get three months of Discord Nitro, which is pretty cool. But that's not what we're here for. So head to the link in the description down below and you'll be taken across to this page over here. All we have to do is wait for the page to load and then get our key from our email or from our screen. I'll paste it in. It'll go ahead and verify. And then all we have to do is click next. Now that we've gone ahead and claimed it, they're adding it to our account currently and we should have three months free. As you can see, all I have to do is click next and then we've activated it on our account. After the three month trial ends, they'll want to go ahead and bill you. I'll go ahead and add a PayPal and then quickly sign in. And we'll get to here. All set, if you're done setting up your account, go back and finish your purchase. So heading back to here, I'll click yes, let's wrap things up and then we'll get to this over here. I haven't entered these details, so I'll go ahead and enter them now. Then when it's done, it'll go ahead and load and we'll eventually get across to the next page here where we can then confirm and you'll see when your subscription ends, we'll charge you $9.99 plus taxes every month. You'll be notified before any price changes and cancel at any time by visiting your Microsoft account. So I'll click confirm and now we've got three months of Xbox Game Pass added to our account. There we go. We can go ahead and click discover and download games and it'll be taken across to a new page. So over here, we'll probably want to download and install the Xbox app for PC, but hypothetically, if you want, you can go ahead and open up the normal Microsoft Store. Then search for something like Flight Simulator and click on the game when you find it. Then all you have to do is look for this message at the very top. You can now play Microsoft Flight Simulator Standard with Xbox Game Pass for PC or buy it to own. I'll change it to the Premium Deluxe Edition just because and then I'll click install. Then all we have to do is pick a disc and wait for the game to download and install. This will of course take a hot minute to do. If we head across to our downloads, you'll see it's doing quite a bit. This will of course take a hot minute to download, but once it's done, we'll be able to play it as expected. It just has to download and install a couple of other things before it finishes. Anyway, with that aside, let's go ahead and cancel our subscription just so that we don't get charged when it's done. Heading across to the next link in the description down below, account.microsoft.com slash services, we'll get taken to this page over here. All we have to do is find the Xbox Game Pass, click manage, and then go ahead and cancel subscription. Turn off recurring billing for Xbox Game Pass for PC. You'll lose access to these benefits on 12-21. 2020. That is three months from today when I activated it. All I have to do is scroll down and then click turn off recurring billing. At this point, it's turning it off. And when our three month trial ends, we shouldn't be charged a cent. Clicking back to subscription, you'll see that it's currently not going to charge me. There is a button to turn on recurring billing, assuming you'd like to keep this. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it, and if you didn't know this already, I'm pretty sure if you get Discord Nitro now, you'll probably still be able to cop this as well. And if you didn't know that you can get Microsoft Flight Simulator through the Xbox Game Pass for PC, well, now you do. I didn't know of that up until this point now. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.